We got demons, folks. Demons, 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 demons. And on my opponent's side, high elves, high elves, high elves, high elves. A little dragon on there. Alright. Get into it. Let's look at what I got. We got some summons, Searing Doom. We got a Metal Lord of Change, which is pretty, pretty hard. And Transmutation. I've been liking Transmutation. Lowering uh, damage and melee attack has been quite good with these blobs. And there's going to be a blob for sure. Chrome, Bloodletters, Toads, Plague Bears, all on the points. Tempest, Star of Alorn with Aurelia. Spring all the healing, all the annoying spells, trying to keep her dragon healed up. Which, I don't know how I feel about that. Archers, not a bad choice. Demons are weak to all that nonsense. Swordmasters, great anti-infantry and a sun dragon. Good for getting rid of an elite blob if I bring any. I'm going to fast forward because there's going to be a lot of stuff. And if you notice, we're on a new map! The turn map! What a great time to be alive. We can play with such variety and not have to play on 12 maps all the time. So yeah. Reavers coming in, Dragon Princes. They should be able to handle most of my stuff. I let my opponent overextend, honestly. If he would have brought more infantry, that would have been fine. But as soon as I get a Soul Grinder, that makes things a little easier. He's got to maneuver more. And if I get rid of the Sword Masters, or at least do enough significant damage, I don't really have to worry about the two Archers. Three if you want to include the Reavers, but Reavers don't scare me. Dragon trying to go in for the grinder, and that's where these lovely Screechers come to deal with it. Screechers, er, uh, Screechers. Screamers. Screamers are a very defensive unit. Very defender because they're so damn slow, but it is what it is. I didn't even put my Plague Bears on the point yet, so not until right now. That's how slow they are. Or maybe that's just how slow I am. Already making a bit of a mistake here. Tempest into a Sun Dragon, which isn't too bad. I mean, I pay for it a bit. I'm giving my opponent free value, which would be, I believe this is Harrison. Yeah, Harrison coming in. But we got Screamers. We got we got those Dragon Princes feeling it from the Soul Grinder. It's all going according to plan. He drops the Sun Dragon so his boys can get into the Screamers, but I'm pretty okay with that. Let him chew on that for a bit. Matter of fact, I'm probably hitting the Sun Dragon and the Dragon Princes more often than not. I just want to get these Sword Masters into range of these, <laughs> this Searing Doom. And those Toads should be able to handle them. And out of the woods comes Blood Letters. Blood Letters versus Sword Masters, I, I, I might be biased, but my money's on the Blood Letters. <laughs> Especially when you got Chrome, uh, Chrome Blue Horrors to come back them up. Spears coming in on the side, trying to deal with my boys. But... As I said, my opponent kind of overextended. This wasn't a very defensive build that he brought, so... And it's going to take a while for those Dragon Princes to chew through those Toads, especially after being poisoned. Ooh. Get him! He's bringing the Sword Masters into the Toads, which is really strange, backed up by Blood Letters. Spear's trying to slow down the Blood Letters, and that's all they're going to do. Oh, they're Silver and Guard. Never mind, they're not Spears. That's even worse for him paying a premium to die and man summon furious to come deal with the archers soul grinder backing them up it's just there's so many things the healing needs to be done to and we got dogs on the side eating up the sword masters well at least trying to oh these searing dooms are so good and that bonus you get when you're being uh for the metal every time you cast i think it's 11 9 to 12 seconds somewhere in between there of just 25% increase to base damage and armor piercing damage. Which might not seem like a lot, but 12 seconds? That could make or break. Soul Grinder, where are you shooting at, friend? And we cleared most of the Sword Masters. We got the Reavers on the run, the Archers are done, and the Plague Bears are about to pop in. It took them a while, but they're almost here. <laughs> Again, the Princes come in and so do the Screamers. And already, oh, is he going to run? No, he's just going to get intercepted. Why Screamers don't come? This is why I hate when you teleport in units. Or summon in units. Beautiful Searing Doom right on top of this princess. They, oh my god, they cut him in half. I mean, they were already cut in half, but they were cut in half again. <laughs> but yeah, any, uh, any Zeech units coming in or from summons, why they don't come in with full shields is beyond me. That's really freaking annoying. And here we go. 
Random army abilities sometimes can make or break. And here we're about to break. He sees it and it's too late. <laughs> Even sending the blood letters on the plague bears just to hold him in there. Oh, it's beautiful. Raining madness. Hallelujah. Oh, those blood letters actually probably took more damage from my, my army ability than they did. Lord of Change just trying to be annoying to archers with soul grinders backing up. And bam. More of these beautiful chaos furies. And yeah, we just pushed him back. We chewed through most of his army right now. We're pretty even on value. Mm, look at these plague bears. Kind of question whether they're bringing them all the way up there, but the reavers aren't paying. He's not paying attention to his reavers, so we'll get some free damage. Why not? Well, we can. And we need to put in some units onto this point so we can start capturing it anyways. Plague bears are perfect for that. White lines are going to take a while to chew through those play bears, so we should have this nice and locked in. Just going to do some cleanup here. All that's left is a sun dragon and some sword masters. And the sword masters versus the lord of change, I think we should have that. No one's going for third. Perfect. Because if he did, I'd clean him up. Clean him up real quick. Uh, yeah, two screamers against the dragon. That's going to be a nice, easy cleanup. I need to get my army out of there. And onto his objective. Don't have to worry about most of this stuff. These uh, secrets from Nash should be able to clean up most of this and take the objective with the Lord of Change on top. As the Furies just keep shooing away the Reavers. They're not really meant to take out the Reavers. They're just, they're just there to make them go bye bye and get off the point. Just screen them out. That's all you gotta do. Screen them out. And the Plague Bearers just holding the line until my boys get here. And they're almost here. Once we get rid of this pesky, pesky dragon. Pesky dragon, go away. Look at that, almost up 2,000. Gonna be soon once we clear him out. Nurgling's just holding the, coming in to hold the point. Papa Nurgle said hello. He's gonna show some more love. Dragon, get out of here, you're annoying. You just sit there and take hits, that's it. Uh, Raelia is a very awkward choice on horseback, especially with all the screamers. She provides healing, she provides magic damage. The only problem is she has to be close. And that just makes her a prime target. She's not very... She's got solid melee defense, I think. I think it's somewhere between 40 to 60. But having 32 screamers on top of her <laughs> doesn't help. Yeah, 67. That's pretty insane. But she's got a large hitbox. She, she's got a soul grinder on top of her, too. Ugh, it's not where you want to be. Swordmasters, yeah. Uh, this might... Uh, well, with two, we're not out of this game yet. My opponent's definitely ahead, and we got some work to do. Searing Doom just doing all sorts of work. Look at that. Plus Seeker's on top now. Opponent's got plenty of healing going on, but that's only seven seconds of it. And the extra little bit from there. So they'll last. But so will my play bearers. Uh, Aurelia, though, once she drops, though... No more healing. No more problems. <laughs> but it looks like she's going to get away. Cheeky shit. But we got Seekers in his back line. We're just trying to keep her going. Come on, Seekers. Get her. Get her. Yeah. Not going to make it easy either. Surrounded. Dragon Princes will do nicely to the Seekers, but we'll see. That dragon is still alive somehow. More Seekers coming in. Finishing off these masters. These sword masters. Specifically. And yeah. Another searing right on top of the princes. Let's see how much this does. 6,000 to... 35. That's pretty good. 2,000. 2.5. That's pretty freaking good for dragon princes. What do they cost? Like 22, 1,700? I know they're expensive. And to just cut them in a th by a third is insane. Lord of Change just annoying these Reavers, which is preferable. And now, we got all three, baby. Let's get to work. Now we just gotta hold it. Not too worried about the Sun Dragon. I don't know about that Tempest. I think he would have preferred more healing. Yeah, he's slowing me down. He's lowered my melee tech and damage, but... Eh? We got dogs into these Reavers with the Lord of Change. Tempest is over now. 
Still got Seekers chewing on these Princes along with Playbears. Still healing. Just a bad... My Soul Grinder used a Palutama, so that's good. Probably could have unsummoned it, wait, waited, and then resummoned it to get some more shots in. Opponent's got some more damage spells. Harrison's doing pretty well. And he dodged the Searing Doom. I was hoping to catch him with that one. And he needs to, because... <laughs> That Syrian Doom has been doing all sorts of work on these uh, these Dragon Princes. He really needs those Princes, and I've just been cutting them in half every time. Blood Letters and more Screamers coming in. To either screen out the Reavers or the Dragon Princes. And yeah, it's just holding these objectives. We're damn near... We were so behind, but now we're so close to catching up. All we need is more Plague Bears. <laughs> Nurglings even had to come in to deal with the Swordmasters. That's alright. That's okay. I got more units than my opponent on more value than Eris. We should be able to hold for quite some time. Especially if we get rid of this stupid dragon. Dragon's got better stats than my Lord of Change, so that should be bad on my end, but... I don't know. I don't know. Dogs come in to chew on the other Illyrian Reavers because uh, they have no ammo on the one I was chewing on for a while. So might as well just slow down the one with ammo, then not. I brought in Plague Tones in reserve, and I don't use them. I think... Uh, with all the spears, I, I think it was a mistake to actually bring them. I probably could have went more... I don't know. I was thinking of also bringing in... What are those? Uh, Rotflies. Either between Rotflies or... Hmm, it's tough to say. I could have used a Skullcracker. It would have been nice to have some range. Skullcracker or uh, Plague Drones. Plague Drones actually might have been pretty good too. Just the speed alone and just to stall out. Especially with how many Reavers he brought. And something with a little more staying power too. Definitely would have been better against the Princes than the Seekers, honestly. Seekers are solid though. Yeah, I think I would have done that. The Plague Drone sounds a lot better now. It sounds a lot better coming out of my mouth than <laughs> than the Plague Toads because of how much, yeah, how much shit they got. And I got dogs. Dogs are plenty good. The anti-infantry is nice with the armor piercing, but we got Blood Letters. First, the Swordmasters, Blood Letters all day, especially backed up with Plague Bears. Yeah, yeah, I think that would have been the way to go. That's how I would redo this match. Speaking of, really just die. Alright, just trying to... I know that... I know that Siri Doom's not going to win it. I just need him to get off the point since I'm triple capping him. I probably could have used on the blob over there with the two silver guard. That probably would have been better seeing as how they're so encamped and blobbed up. Yeah. Instead of trying to slow down these silver guard to come deal with Aurelia. Go Aurelia, no more healing for you. Make your army weak. Come on. Dog's just trying to chew up whatever's on the point. I'm trying to hold out for as long as I can. And this has been a hell of a game. Harrison has not made it easy for me at all. But I'm not making it easy for him either. And yeah, with all this uh, triple captain and everything, it's going to be a while. Harrison taps out. Rightly so, I don't blame him. I would have tapped out too after getting tripled so, so hard. Uh... 4,000 on the Lord of Change. There we go. That was all those Searing Dooms on the Fire Princess just cutting those boys in half. Yeah, the Toads toads were ass. Probably could have swapped them out. Uh, the Chromes, I could have used them better. But with so much shield, I probably would have swapped them out too. Because a lot of his units have Silver Shield, so I don't really see the point in bringing them. Probably could have swapped them out for another Plague Bearer. Or, I don't know, Blood Letter if I had the points. Probably did. Soul Grinder did all right. Everything else did pretty mediocre. Pretty mediocre, in my opinion. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, sub, follow me on Twitter. You know the whole ordeal. If you've been listening, you know what to do. If you haven't been listening, well, follow me on Twitter. You can see the streams. You can come watch future gameplays early. You might even be in them if you want. I'm not opposed to it. And you can get see clips of those games, too. Alright, with all that said, y'all have a good one, peace, and goodbye for now.